Hello everyone. I know that on my Twitter, for those of you that follow me, I said that several videos would be going up this week. Um, I'm already kind of off to a shitty start. It's Tuesday and this is my first one. So we'll see how that goes. Um, my original intention was actually to get on here and talk about this new awesome vegan line of skincare stuff that I've um, started using. But something foiled my plan. I don't know if it's my body. I don't know what the deal is. Um, yesterday I noticed, I've, I've been using this, this stuff uh, I think like since like maybe Friday or something. Ignore my phone. Since like Friday or something and a Thursday, Friday and I noticed on yesterday that I had a zit. Which I got a zit. Like, like that one, right? And I'm like, okay, well that, that should be gone by tomorrow, you know, I wash my face, anything like that. But today, throughout the course of the day, I got like one, two, three, there's one here, four, and there's one up here above my eyebrow. Five, I got five zits go boot today, like during the day. And I was like so pissed. I'm sitting at my desk at work and I'm like, oh god, more, oh god. Yeah, and um, so until I kind of, until I figure out what's causing my skin to freak out, it could be a couple of things. It could simply be my body responding to stress. It could be um, my uh, primer, my, you know, my um, foundation primer, or it could actually be the uh, new skin line that I wanted to review. So until I figure out what's causing me to break out, I'm not going to be talking about anything that I put on my face, clearly. Um, just out of fairness so that really bummed me out and you know of course being a woman of my age uh, zits are depressing and uh, I mean I don't I don't really think there is any age where zits aren't depressing but you know it's just one of those things where you think you're past something and I'm like oh god I hope this isn't the start of another phase and I'm gonna freak out ah. um, but yeah so in lieu of that I'm gonna give you just a quick vlog talk about what I'm gonna be talking about I'm brilliant, aren't I? <laughs> and um, kind of what I've been up to. Biggest news, last Wednesday I was part of history and um, it was awesome. For those of you unaware, um, last Wednesday, which is July 20th, uh, Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus uh, opened their, I think they had like four or five days that they showed at the Staples, uh, Staples Center in Los Angeles. Um, circus sucks. Um, one thing that I've noticed, well, I've noticed a couple things, but I can go back and forth with people all day about eating meat, consuming dairy, or using animal products. I can go back and forth with people all day and they just won't get it. They dig in their heels, whatever. But there's something that about a circus where pretty much you know baby elephants are beaten and shocked and bound and forced to do tricks and animals are you know um, denied even basic veterinary care you know god forbid they actually injure themselves or you know catch something they're not going to get cared for properly um, you know there's just some, there's more about circuses that rub people the wrong way and this was very very apparent uh, last Wednesday at the Staples Center, like uh, I think it was like about an hour and a half before the first show, over 500 people, 500 zero zero plus protesters were there holding signs. Um, some people were dressed as elephants. Uh, we were, you know, um, chanting, yelling, got a lot of support, like honks and stuff from people driving by. Even a few, um, even a few families that came to see the circus, some of them just turned and left. Um, some were relatively unbothered, but one of the coolest things was watching the kids, because you know parents bring their kids to the circus and everything like that. And um, I'm gonna move so you can't see the flashlight behind me because that bothers me. And you know you see the parents bringing the kids into the circus, and in order to get to the circus, they had to walk a gauntlet of people asking them not to go telling them what they're supporting. Pictures of Ringling Brothers training methods on these animals and, you know, statistics like, you know, in the past 
uh, however many years, uh, like 10 years maybe, a, little, a few more 20 years, there's been like 26 dead elephants, you know, just all this stuff on cruel confinement, and um, they're all on pictures and signs, and the people that are trying to go to the circus have to walk through this, really cool. So, but the best part were the faces on the kids, because um, a lot of people just don't know what goes into using animals for our entertainment. All right, and that's all it is, is pure entertainment. You can't even use the bullshit, we need meat to survive crap. This is pure entertainment, pure exploitation, cruelty, abuse, cruel, cruel confinement, you know, neglect, you know, forcing animals to pretty much travel, you know, 50, 50 weeks a year when they're meant to be walking a few miles a day in Africa, you know, shit like that. And the parents are leading their, I know I keep going off on tangents, the parents are leading their kids in to see the circus, and the parents are usually pretty stern-faced, uh, but the kids were like looking around, you know, um, PETA was there, whether or not you support PETA, this was a very well put on protest, they had some really good materials, um, they had coloring books and stickers, you know, stuff, really cool stuff, and um, I think a lot of kids were asking their parents some difficult questions that night. And this, pr this protest, the one on Wednesday, was only one of several that they had there at the Staples Center. There was one, there was a demonstration an hour and a half before every show. And, you know, there are certain cities where Ringling Brothers isn't welcome because those cities have certain animal cruelty and animal usage uh, laws and stuff like that that don't allow a circus to go. So, I mean, think about that, first of all. But it was amazing. This is my first circus protest, and I'm definitely going to make it something that I'm going to strive to go to every year. It was amazing. Just being there with like-minded people, networking, you know, finally meeting a couple of people that I've only spoken to, spoken to, you know, on Facebook and stuff like that. It was amazing, and it felt wonderful to be doing a service like that for the animals who can't speak for themselves, you know? And it was just amazing. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up, um, basically just to talk about how excited I am and was to be part of that protest um, and helping spreading the word about the truth of circuses and um, just pretty much it. Just a little vlog. Um, I'm going to try and get some more videos up this week. I have a couple things I want to talk about. Um, probably going to get into a couple more ethical discussions, and I have some products and stuff I want to talk about as well. Alright, so thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned. I'm sorry, I'll try not to be, I'll try not to neglect my channel so much, okay? <laughs> so, um, but I know, um, several of you do watch, and I thank you for that, and I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye!